my folder on my phone that is hello everybody what is up i am back for another video before we get started can we just point this out right now like is it too early? Am I too early? It's a week away from Thanksgiving. I don't know if it's too early, but I love Christmas. I love the holidays, and I love the way it makes me feel. The holidays just give me the feels, you know? So I love just decorating, and we have this little tree over here. And isn't it so cute? Right, enough about Christmas and the holidays. You guys just need to know that it's my favorite holiday, so I am just putting on my tree a little bit early because I love Christmas. I love it. Okay. So for today's video, I'm going to be doing something a little bit different. I guess it kind of can relate to beauty. It's going to be my favorite picture apps that I use for my Instagram. I get a lot of questions mainly on how I edit my pictures, what apps I use, and what camera I use. So I'm going to just be covering all those three things today. I'm going to show you guys how I get that nice, crisp, and clean um, looking picture because I love just having a nice picture. I like nice bright pictures and I'm gonna show you my favorite apps. I love apps guys. So let's go ahead and get started with this video. These lights are like a little bright. Let me know how you like these lights. I have a new light setting setup thingy majigger going on and I don't know. I don't know how you like it. All right let's go get to the video. So before I tell you guys what cameras I use and everything I just want to let you guys know that I do have studio lights that I film my videos with and sometimes I take my pictures with those lights. So sometimes I use natural lighting and sometimes I use my studio lights. To be honest natural lighting is the best lighting so if you can just find a big window and just take a selfie you're just gonna have the most amazing and epic selfie. Just fine natural lighting especially if it's a gloomy day you just are gonna have that nice neutral color not gonna have any sunshine and any yellow undertones on your pictures so just a little tip for you guys okay so first thing I do want to cover in this video is my camera that I use it's not going to be like my filming setup kind of thing. It's going to be like what cameras I use for my Instagram pictures. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you guys know that I have a very nice, clean, well, to me, it's like nice and clean. I don't know about like anybody else, but to me, it's like nice and clean and I, I don't know, like very bright. So, I mean, some pictures I would want to delete, but I feel bad. Like I want to look back at these pictures and actually be like, oh my God, remember when I took that picture, you know? So first thing I do want to cover in this video is to mention what camera I use. A lot of people ask me what camera I use to take my Instagram photos. And the first one that I'm going to say is just my iPhone. Look how cute my case is. Um, but I do use my iPhone. 50% of the time I want to say I split it half and half and then the other times that I'm not using my iPhone I do take my pictures with this little baby right here and this is my Canon G7X and I bought this a couple months ago and I'm super super in love with it. It has a little viewfinder that you can just flip over and you can vlog or just take pictures and I usually just take my selfies or if I want to show my makeup or something like very detailed I like to use my camera and the great thing about this camera is that it does have Wi-Fi so I can just connect it to my phone and I can just get the pictures right on my phone but of course you can still use your phone your phone takes amazing pictures I have the iPhone 6 and I still use my phone for like I said like 50% of the time so I'm gonna show you guys a couple pictures that I took on the camera and on my phone and you guys can see the difference it's just the way you use light and the way you edit your pictures the main difference because you can use light natural light is the best and I'm just gonna get into that later on okay do I use to edit my pictures right so I have a folder on my phone that is just for photos and you can find all my favorite apps and it's just a variety of picture apps you know like how you can put fonts on them I like more of a cleaner look so I don't use that and I, so I have three apps that I use all the time and I did pay for all three of them I believe they're under two dollars or maybe like three dollars so they're not super expensive but they're amazing apps so I would definitely spend the three dollars you know it's like a cup of coffee at Dunkin Donuts or something so I'm gonna show you guys the first one this one that I love to use as you guys can see this is my photography folder 
and I only have two pages. I don't use all of these apps right now. I used to use all of them, but I don't at the moment. So I only use these three apps, and I'm just going to go in order real quick and show you guys what I like about the app real quick. I'm not going to go like in depth. Um, of how I edit a picture because that would just take forever. You guys know the struggle of editing a picture. So the first one that I'm going to mention is Afterlight. And Afterlight is such an amazing app. I'm not really sure how much it is. I think it's like $1.99. So quickly, I just want to show you guys the brightness effect on this photo right here because this is what I use this app for, mainly the brightness. And look at that. I just like to bring up all my pictures and that's what I use. A lot of apps just make your pictures go grainy whenever you brighten them up. So that's the reason why I really, really love this app right here. And then the other reason why I love it is because I do use this effect. This is, I mean this effect. This filter is called Rust and I like to just kind of use this a little bit. It gives like a shadow effect on it and it's super, super cool. And those are the main reasons why I like these apps. So moving on to the next app, we're gonna go into VSO Cam or whatever, however you pronounce it. So when it comes to VSO Cam, I use it mainly for photos that I do take outside because they don't need that much attention or brightness. It's just a perfect photo. You just need to add an effect and you'll be fine. So I just like to use the filters over here. Sorry I'm like all over the place, guys. But, I mean, I like to brighten my pictures up, but these are a couple of my favorite effects that I like to use. I just like the seat, the seas, the seats, the seas. And then I also just like brighten it up a little, that's temperature, sorry. I brighten it up a little bit, and there you go. This also does have an amazing brightening uh, tool that you can use, and it just makes your pictures look very nice and crisp with a little touch of like a vintage -y filter on it. And so moving on, I'm gonna move on to Facetune. Facetune I mainly use for just selfie pictures. And so this photo is unedited, but I did open it up for you guys. The main reason why I like Facetune is because I can just fix minor stuff on my face. So if I do have a little bit of, you know, like mess up makeup or something, you're just gonna use the smooth button right here, but please don't overdo it. It just makes it look, this just makes it look a little bit natural. It doesn't do like anything crazy on your face. So I like to use that a little bit. I went a little bit overboard. I use this on the minimal. I don't use this a lot, but I also do like it because when you zoom in or you want something to show up really well, you can just use the details feature right here. And then you can just emphasize any parts of your face that you want to show and it just does that for you. So when you have eyelashes or eyeshadow, you can just use that and it is freaking amazing. But the other reason why I do like this app is because of this filter right here and it is called a lighter and you can basically just lighten up your pictures and not and then you can have the light and then you have zero light, you know? If you like those bright pictures, this app is amazing and that filter is just bomb.com. It does not make your photos greeny like all other apps. That's it for this video, guys. I really hope you guys enjoyed it and learned a little bit more about how I post my Instagram pictures. So if you guys are curious about my Instagram pictures and you don't already follow me, my handle username is at GabbyBag with three G's at the end and you guys can see all these pictures. Okay guys, so that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoy this. I know it had nothing to do with beauty, but I got this question a lot on my Instagram and I just repeat myself over and over. So I figured I would just do a video on it. And yeah, it's nothing crazy. There's no secret. There's, it's not magic, you know? I know there are a million people who take amazing pictures and my Instagram is not like, oh my God, like crazy, but I, I don't think they're bad either. So I thought I would just share a couple of my favorite apps and yeah, it is just the way you use light and you know, like it can be natural light, studio lights. It's just the way you use light and the way you um, edit a picture that they come out nice or you know, like greeny or super dark and super clean. You know the deal. So if you guys have any picture apps or any of your favorites, share them down below. I love exploring new apps. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will talk to you guys later on my next one. Bye guys.